Hi, Jay here with a DP20 Tech Tip, and this is for the auto start function, one of my favorite features. The auto start function is used when you're doing production drilling and you're doing a lot of holes, and you don't want to keep starting and stopping the drill press. You simply select the auto start icon, press the touch screen to illuminate the auto start function, and you'll still have to turn the motor on, turning the on off button to the on position. Now that I have the drill press ready to go, I'll still have to pull the quill handle down and as soon as we see quill movement, it'll start the motor and I can go through, do my drilling application. When I release the quill handle and it comes to the top, it'll shut the drill press off. I can reposition my materials and then simply pull the quill handle down again. It'll start the drill press so I can go through and drill my next holes. And at each of the top of the stroke, each time you get the top of the stroke, it'll shut off. Each time you start moving the quill handle down, it'll come on. Now there's a few safeties that are built into this so that we can use this auto start function without getting injured. And one of the considerations is when you're changing bits. Uh, if you have your chuck key out of the chuck key holder, there's a small micro switch inside that gets tripped. You'll see an error code that comes up on the screen. That means that the chuck key is out of the drill press and auto start is enabled. So in this position, it will lock out the auto start function and if I'm tightening or loosening a bit and I inadvertently pull down and move the quill, it's not going to start and it's not going to damage my fingers with the chuck key in the, in the uh, chuck. In order to clear the error code, I can go through and hit the on button. It will reset the, uh, the drill press or I can simply put the chuck key back in its position in the holder. There's a small magnet that will hold that in place it will reset the drill press. Now I'll have to go back in and reselect auto start and reselect the on position to go through and use the auto start function. That covers the auto start feature and it can uh, also covers all the safety features that are built into it. If you have any other questions or are looking for other tech tips, go to our webpage at lagunatools.com.